So actually I would like to release at least one video every week, but unfortunately I had to work last Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday I worked 15 hours, which is 3 hours more than the Occupational Safety and Health Act allows, and on Sunday only 11 hours. So needless to say I didn't have the time to do anything else. To make up for last week, we shall start this episode with a mouthful. Portable Mimic Item Recycler by Vicken. This mimic will not eat you, but rather your stuff. You can actually feed it by selecting it in your inventory. Ok, I don't know what that orb thing is supposed to be, but if you give items to the mimic, it will convert them to materials. You can give it almost any kind of item, and the mimic will convert everything into fitting materials. Oh, and look at this, it seems it is possible to actually level the mimic up by feeding its items. The description says at higher levels the mimic will give you more materials and even money. So this is a really interesting method to get rid of all the random items you come across on your travels, in case you are not in the mood to drag this stuff to a merchant all the time. Next mod is also something with a big mouth, but in a different way. Mailstorm by Nachtdämmerung. This is a big thing because it's not just a custom voice follower, but also a nice quest with a new location. To start we have to talk to the innkeeper or the winking skiver and ask for work. Shallow waters, yes, this is the one. It's about hiring mercenaries for an expedition to the Sea of Ghosts, and apparently those mercenaries do not like sharing the loot, because as soon as we arrive at the camp there are no introductions. So, after dealing with the unfriendly welcome, we learn that this mysterious new island has appeared, and this is also where the real fun begins. Things start in an a bit spooky fashion. I can feel your presence. Fred Are you here to help me? The dungeon itself seems pretty decent, different enemies to kill, some basic puzzles, and you can learn more from the notes about the mercenaries and the members of that expedition. Pretty soon we also finally find something custom voiced. Help me. Save me from the darkness. This woman is injured and to save her you actually need to cast a healing spell, so you better be a mage or have a scroll with you. I feel... I don't feel... right. What happened? She is actually one of the mercenaries, and apparently they planned to use her as a kind of sacrifice for some ritual. I was such a fool. They treated me like garbage, and they used me. Thank you. Much appreciated. And yes, she becomes a follower. But the funny thing is, this is not even the main attraction. There are actually two custom voice followers in this one. This woman here, whose voice lines are made out of vanilla dialogues, and also one with a completely new voice acted voice. My guess would be it's the voice we keep hearing here. But I think it's already clear as day that this is a really nice quest mod, and there is no need to spoil it any further, so I shall leave the rest to you folks. And speaking about cool dungeons, how about we get some cool new doors for them? Gorgeous Ruin Doors by Hype One. This mod replaces those large ruin doors with this more complex and impressive looking variant. You can get them with up to 8K textures and as usual with brand new animations and sounds. Another masterpiece without question. Oh, ok, we are here already. In this episode too we have many weapons and armors. Yes, I see a pattern here too. Blade of Evil's Bane by John Skyrim. 
Well, that looks awfully familiar. Considering it has the Triforce on it and everything, it's not hard to guess where this is from, even for non-fans. The Legend of Link. Or was it a Zelda to the past? Maybe Back to the Future? I'll let you decide. The next weapon is for true pirates. Barrel Crest Anchor by John Skyrim. What a beauty. Because who wouldn't want to run around bashing in heads with a gigantic anchor? It is available as a two-handed warhammer and a one-handed mace. And since Ikari is wearing a somewhat piratey outfit, it all fits like a glove. I mean, all this is cool and all, but let me ask you a question. What would a pirate be without his own personal Atronach? And that would obviously be the Barrel Atronach. See, I'm not even joking. Seriously, how do they even come up with this stuff? The next weapon is even bigger, well, at least longer. Aegean Sentinel Halberd by Funky Gandalf Cat. So another Souls weapon then? Yep, based on the Blue Knight's Halberd from Dark Souls 2. This thing be so long, it even touches the ground. Did that sound a bit inappropriate? Anyway, a cool weapon. Could totally use some custom animations. The last weapon, however, is really small. Dagger Keen, another one by John Skyrim. Now I can't imagine a better weapon for the Dragonborn. Oh wait, did I say weapon? I meant letter opener. I mean seriously, this thing looks so super detailed, like a real life object. I would totally like to have one of those. Do we have any blacksmiths in the audience? Maybe somebody can make one and send it to me. I would like to totally make a crazy ad for it. Okay, about the armors. Do you know deserter eggs? Well, obviously. Somehow they are all over the place. Stella Mithril armor is the first outfit. It's supposed to be a light dwarven armor. Well, I didn't know the dwarves were secretly strippers, but okay. Yeah, it's a crazy outfit with levitating wings and body stickers. The next one is Spartan Bard outfit. Okay, things are getting a bit more interesting with this one. There are a lot of decorational items on this armor, and guess what? Even some transparency options for the main part. The next outfit is Demon Armor. Okay, so now we have horns and a cape, but I'm starting to see a pattern here too. Well, at least for this one we also get a fitting weapon and a shield. The next one is Seal's Rogue Armor. Wow, this armor is in a really bad condition. All this wear and tear, on some places there are nothing but threads left. So see, how is this poor woman even going to do battle? Well, at least there is a dagger. The next one is Cassandra Apocrypha robes. Okay, more of this stuff. Another crazy outfit with weird flying tentacles. Well, what can I say? The eye is kinda cool, and there are some masks.
And the last one is Seal Zero outfit. Okay, now this is too much. This is like Batman, Spider-Man, Catwoman, Maleficent, um, maybe Wolverine. Seriously, how are you supposed to run with those spikes? Aren't you going to pierce your own ass? Talking about design. Okay team, assemble! Because now it's finally time for adventure. So yeah, let's start with this one. Citizens of Skyrim by Craftian. Similar to Warp from the last episode, this mod aims to bring some life to the empty world of Skyrim a bit. Here, however, it is done by introducing a bunch of new NPCs with branchy, professionally voiced dialogues. Kinda similar to the interesting NPCs mod, just not as big. So let's take a look at some of those new NPCs. I just have to become a guard, was I? I'll show them. I'll show them all. What in his name? Oh, what are you doing here? Can't I get some shut-eye without someone creeping up or a dragon appearing? Yes, yes. You're a real jester, aren't you? <sighs> what are you doing here, anyway? You haven't come to kill me. Ah, <sighs> how it comes to this. Oh, hello, stranger. I'm not in your way, I hope. Don't pay me any mind. I only wish to have a word with R.K. before I continue on the path. Oh, child. <laughs> far, far away from here. It is time, I think, to leave the rest behind and embrace whatever lies ahead. Ah, it is difficult to explain. I am sure you have more important things to do. Do you truly wish to know? Huh. Another wanderer! Yes. I suppose I should thank you for saving her, but now I have no one to play with anymore. And I was mounting a perfectly good rescue before you came along. The Force Wand wouldn't have seen me coming. Hiya! Ha! I would have charged right into the hordes of darkness and rescued the fair maiden. <laughs> Fjorta never liked it when I called her that. But uh, you don't have to tell her. Charging out on my noble steed, she would be returned safely to the castle. And then it's back out onto the open road for me. And so on and so on. Well, seems professional enough to me. Good mod, next mod. The next mod is an actual questline, Depth of Repentance by James McKenzie and Carmichael. This mod promises a lot, including a new underworld-like world space. But here is how it starts. First of all, we have to talk to this NPC and say hello to unvoiced subtitle dialogues once again. It's something about improving our reputation. And our first assignment is to look for some kids' toys. Oh yeah, that sounds like a worthy task for the Dragonborn. I'm not even kidding, this is exactly what we do. Fishing out toys from the river and returning them to this kid. Our second assignment is to help somebody in Falkreese, who just happens to be a ghost. Ooh yeah, so now the cool part is starting, right? Well, not really. We actually just have to kill some grave robber and return the hammer to the blacksmith's ghost. As for our third assignment, we have to help this Khajiit guy, who apparently didn't eat his veggies, or moon sugar, or whatever. He says an orc used a magical task to steal his height. Yes, this guy here looks like he might fit the description. He definitely has the task in his inventory, but the only options seem to be to either steal it or kill him. Finally, even if you kill him and take the task, he only reverts back to his normal self. Bog look the tiny, yeah, that definitely fits. 
Well, what can I say, this task is a bit more entertaining. I can't say if all this will eventually develop into a big and evil plot to destroy all of Tamriel, which we then have to stop, but it definitely seems like the storyline becomes more and more interesting the further we progress. And this is it for this episode. Links to all mods as always in the description below. Don't forget to endorse the mods you like. And if you like interesting quest lines, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. Best new Skyrim mods. I thank you all for watching and see you around.